Hello, everybody. This is Noah and John, and we are from Urban Digs, and it is Fries Day. So you're going to get your weekly Manhattan market update. John, let's get to supply. It's going near that 6,000 handle, 59.22. Show me that chart. Yeah, another tick up, half a percent or so. We are approaching 6,000. It'll be interesting to see once we cross that mark. But uh, look, still, even, even at the 6,000 handle, though, we could use more supply here. Yeah, we got real. I mean, we're at 4,700 just a couple of months ago. So we have made a nice move up. I mean, buyers are probably seeing some stuff come on, but the pace of pending sales and the pace of demand is still a very high level. Let's now pivot to that pending sales on Urban Digs, 4,493. Johnny, you're the chart guy. Show me that chart. Yeah, I mean, that's another close to 3% increase on a weekly basis for pending sales. And this is why I think we need more supply, simply because the demand yeah. remains, remains active, Noah, here as we enter the busy season. So the supply coming on would help quench that thirst in these markets. Right. Yeah. I mean, supply is rising at a faster pace than pending sales. So that's why supply is going up. Let's go to those weeklies and see if there's any trend changes there in a weekly level. John, I'm looking at supply, 437 things. That's down, probably holiday related, obviously. Show me that chart. Yeah, it's down roughly 23%. With something we talked about last week is that you're going to have the, the New York City public schools are heading on spring break. They're in fact already on it. So I think it was right. a quiet week. I think next week is most likely going to be a quiet week for supply. And so no surprises right. here. Right. And one week doesn't make a trend make. So that's why you got to keep that in mind. So we take, we take a look at it, you know, shows us the front end, it's fresh stuff, but we need multiple weeks to see a trend. Johnny, let's take a look at the one week contract sign, 342. That's ticking down, but still a, quite a good number. Show me that chart. Yeah. And listen, if sellers are taking a, taking some time off, buyers certainly are still out in the streets, but I'll tell you, you know, at 342, we're, we're actually down a percent or so from where we were last week. And this is actually the second week in a row I've seen a, de a tick down in contract sign. So I mean, listen, way too early to talk about some kind of trend changing, but here we are at the start of the busy season. You would kind of expect that number to be, you know, in slowly increasing instead of steadily like a couple of ticks down. Um, so, right. There you have it. I mean, I, I, I guess we're at a high level. We're at a high level and we do have the holidays. So we have to take all that into account. And we do have those macro forces. And this is the time of, of, of high deal volume. So, I mean, it is, it is noisy and confusing here, Johnny. Um, yeah, and I, I, what I think would do be interesting, actually, if we go to the chart room, we can actually look at some of these um, charts to get a sense of what that pace is for contract signs. Yeah, we certainly can. We could do take a look at the monthly contract activity. We could take a look at monthly supply right over here, monthly contract yeah. activity over here, and we can get a sense of where we are and what, what we're supposed to see. Um, if you take a look at this chart right here, and I do it for a three-year just to show you guys, you know, that blue line right there, that's how much supply, you know, you can see these blue dots. That's how much supply is coming on the market um, that the industry is producing. The orange line is that historical average. So you can see we're, we're well above. We're well yeah. above that historical average. And if I want to go back to April of last year and look at the orange bar, 1,642, John, is your answer. 1,642 right. is your answer. That's what we're supposed to get for April. That's the historical average. And when I go to the ticker now, John, this is the cool part. If I go to the ticker and I look at that number, I could actually see that we're at 2,408. So right. 2,408 is quite well above 1,600. We're having... A, a it, very yeah very high yeah no it, it's it's really interesting because you know we've been talking about this need for supply you know it's you know this market is starved for supply and yet we're 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 over pace for supply so yeah. it makes me wonder i mean is there more supply to be had in this market and, and i'm not quite sure what the answer is there Noah. well i mean one big equation is that contract activity is up so much as well like you mentioned before i could do the same exact chart and the same exercise for contract activity and i could see that we've 1475 deals was where we did in March. And if I go over here, we're at 1,521. We're at a higher pace than, than March in terms yeah. of the one month. That's why I said earlier on, one week is not a trend make. One month is a good trend. 1,521, we're supposed to get about 1,000, 1,100. We're well above. So the, the, the absorption, the pay, everything's up. Yeah, Everything's up, John, as you like to say. Yeah. And, and I think what I would like to see, Noah, is I would like to see, I mean, listen, we've had an amazing recovery, right? We started after the pandemic, contract signs went absolutely ballistic, supply was slow to catch up, supply has is, is attempting to catch up. But at some point, yeah. this market, in my sense, is going to be a little bit overheated. You're going to start seeing, you know, the monthlies on, the, on a quarterly level, we've seen prices tick down a little bit. We'll probably dig into this a little bit more next week. But, you know, yeah. you, you want to avoid that 2015 sort of bubble mentality. And so I think the best way to do that would be having supply and demand at the same time sort of ratcheting back down to normal levels. So that's, that's what I'm looking for. 
Yeah, and it's probably going to happen. It's probably going to happen. We had an amazing recovery, like you said, and prices did. It seems like it's topped out. I think I think Q1 is going to be like that top out. We're going to come back down a little bit. Guys, nothing goes up in a straight line forever, right? When we say top out, that doesn't mean the market's going down. That doesn't, it, everything's just kind of fading right. a little bit from those um, cycle highs. And, you know, let's take a look. Let's take a look at an interesting chart, John, that you pulled up over here. I always love this one. This is an oldie, but goodie right? You know, as we like to say, negotiability by days on market. And we're looking at contract sign dates, guys. That's the key to this whole entire thing is that this is timely. We're looking mm -hmm. at a lagging sales trend in a timely manner. Um, we show you January, because that's as, as late as we can go. And we're breaking this down by, if you signed the contract in under 60 days, what was your negotiability discount? If you signed a contract in 61 to 120 days, what was your negotiability? And if it was 121 days plus, exactly the same. What is your negotiability? And when I look at that blue, let's just take a look at the latest, yeah. latest readings, John, and then I want your interpretation. Less than 1%. Less than 1% if you price right and you sign a contract in the first couple of months. I guess we could define pricing right as, as, as one month or less if you wanted to. Um, that would be even lower, right? 1%. If you're in month two or, or going into month four, two to four, 3.3%. That's like the, the, the middle, the media. That's, that's the, that most right. of transactions fit in that category. And then if you fail to price correctly and you find yourself chasing the market down, um, you know, it's going to bite you and that bite's going to be 7.7%. So Johnny, what do you see here? No, I agree with you. I think, and I think what I would focus on is that blue bar. And that's simply that you I think you're exactly right. This is sort of a measure of, of sellers who have priced it right. And what is their listing discount? I mean, really, there isn't one. I mean, it's not zero. Yeah. I think if you, when you zoom in and you start looking at units that went on a contract in less than you know three weeks, yeah, you're going to find zero. You might have some months of actually you know negative discounts in which sellers or buyers are actually paying over the ask. But what this yeah. tells me is that the demand out there for reasonably priced things that are not sort of, you know, I'm not talking so much about condition. I'm just talking about the priced right for the market they're in remains yeah. robust. And it's it's better than it was. Yeah. I mean, you look back at the 2019 figures, which is you know, pre-pandemic, and you look at April, we're lower than that. So this is a this yeah. is, remains a very healthy market for both buyers and sellers. Um, again, I think sellers could just use more supply. I think that's the only caveat I would have right here. Right. And I think it's happening. And you know what, if there's some macro changes going on right now, we might see supply go up during the summer when we usually see supply come down um, mm -hmm. during the summer. So um, this is going to be interesting times for sure. We're going to be here to slice and dice all this data. Just remember, if we're going to see a shift in this market, you're going to see it right here on this ticker. I keep saying it over and over again. I want to point it out to you all right here. This is what is going to show you the way. And if this market's going to be going down, John, this 342 one week number is going to fall. It is not falling, so I don't see it. And when we see it, we'll report on it. Johnny, right. thank you so much for pulling up all that data. That is John Walkup. I am Noah Rosenblatt. We are both from Urban Digs. Don't forget, if you guys got questions, we got answers. Visit our forum right over here. If you want any of the charts that Johnny whipped up today, it's going to be right over here in our research notes. Other than that, this has been your weekly Manhattan market update. Happy holidays, and we'll catch you next time.